Hi everyone, Bernard here and I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. We have a film review today, a British drama, hour and 33 minutes, yeah, unusual title, I thought it was a science, I remember watching all science fiction called this, so many, many moons ago, 20 odd years ago probably. Yeah, we're going to look at a film called Supernova, please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification, so you know, these vlogs are coming out, I try and give you information on these vlogs from uh, other sources, reviews, etc, etc, then I give my own little two penny worth for what it's worth as well on, on these films. And you'll see some stuff on my football team, Manchester City, as well. So if that's of any interest on the playlist, uh, please check that out. Or anyone who you know might be interested, please point them in my direction. But uh, obviously, it's just films and TV. There's loads of stuff on films and TV. So we're going to do that today anyway. There's links on screen for Facebook and Twitter. If you follow me, I do follow and friend everyone back. So uh, if you check that out, I do check every couple of days. All comments are very welcome about this film. If you're interested to know what about this film, as I'm sort of a bit wider than that with the majority of people on this one I'd, I'd say we'll, we'll get into that but uh, let me know what you think anyway if you get to watch this uh, it's coming to the UK cinemas I'll give you the dates on that at the at the end of this little vlog and of course uh, if you can leave the comments on this film or anything else to do with film and TV and you haven't got time for a comment just give, just give us a thumbs up it's nice to get comments but it's nice to get a thumbs up as well if, uh, if you can't have got time to do that yeah super over a 15 rating and um, yeah I mean there's one uh, obviously, s sort of sexual scene. You didn't really see anything. It was just the actions. Uh, I'm, I'm struggling to find out what the fifth, why, why it's been given a 15 certificate. To be honest with you, but I think the uh, BBFC are a bit, uh, a bit soft these days with the with the ratings. To be honest with you, I, I couldn't see it being any reason why it should be more than a 12. Ain't it's not a sort of film young people would particularly, uh, you know, young younger children, you know, teenagers would particularly want to watch. I wouldn't have thought this one. To be honest with you. Uh, an hour and 33 minutes. So it's a British drama written and directed by ex-actor ex -actor Harry McQueen. Yes, yeah, so uh, he's done this, this a job on this one. Colin first stars as Sam, Stanley Tucci as Tusker Mulliner, Pippa Hayward as Lily, Peter McQueen as Clive, James Dreyfus as Tim, Ian Drysdale as Paul and Sarah Woodward as Sue. Yes, yeah, Sam and Tusker played by Colin and Stanley Tucci, Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci. Tucci, partners for 20 years, travel across England to the Lake District. So, so yeah, some nice scenery in this. Reunited with friends and family, as Tusker is diagnosed with early onset dementia, the pair are heading towards the end of their relationship. During the journey, secrets are revealed that change their relationship forever. Uh, yeah, I mean, having, having read that little synopsis there, I didn't read that before I watched the film, uh, it sounded okay, didn't it? But uh, yeah, it wasn't as quite as... Uh, Deep as that synopsis would have us believe, in my opinion. But hey, there you go. Let's get on with this. Let's see, see what other people thought. Any good? Well, comments and ratings as, as at the 21st of June 2021, 2 p.m. UK time. So all comments and scores are as at that date. Rotten Tomatoes, 88% positivity, which is pretty good. That averages 7.6 out of 10. Again, very good. 151 fresh and 21 rotten reviews. And a consensus led by moving performances from Firth and Tucci. Okay. Supernova is a heartbreaking look at the emotional toll that comes with accepting mortality. Audience, yeah, not as overly impressed. Uh, 3.7 out of 5. But uh, if, you, if you put that over 10, that's 7.4. So it's not that bad, is it? It's not far behind Rotten Tomatoes uh, critics. So an average of 7.4 out of 10. Again, uh, not, not a bad score at all. Metacritic, the other uh, critics web website we'll look at. An average, again, similar sort of figure, 73 out of 100 based on 27 reviews. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter Stephen Dalton, he gave it 6 out of 10 and said, There's plenty to admire here if only this tasteful tearjerker lived up to its title, with a few more explosive fireworks, I think that's what I was saying, instead of setting for timid twinkles, ending not with a bang but a whimper. Yeah, I've, yeah I would totally echo that, at least let's say there are, there are some people who sort of uh, agree with what I'm thinking about this film uh, Slate's Karen Han give it 90 out of 100 uh, Supernova is modest in every respect except its emotional impact in the character's internal arcs the title the name for a stellar explosion comes fully into perspective
perspective. So sometimes you wonder how people are watching the same film, don't you? Really, with some of, some of these comments, it's totally opposite to what that first comment or that first critique I read out. Anyway, internet movie database, job public. What are they thinking about it? Well, as I said. Not a bad little score, 6.7 out of 10. That's based on 4,184 scores and reviews left for this film. And of those 4,184, 3,370 scored it 6 points out of 10 or above. So obviously that's 81% very, very positive about this film. So again, 7s and 8s all round really, isn't it? If you look at the other critics as well. So Berners thoughts, yeah, well, as I say, I, I do... There's a couple there, obviously, the Hollywood Reporter, Stephen Dalton, I think sort of summed it up for me. Uh, I'll just repeat what he said. Uh, this tasteful tearjerker lived up to its title with a few more explosive fireworks instead of settling for timid twinkles, ending not with a bang but a whimper. Yeah, but you give it six, six out of ten, because he said there's plenty to admire. I, I was struggling to find much to admire, to be honest with you. Uh, I've recently, or uh, a few weeks ago now, a few weeks ago, saw two films about the effects of dementia. The Father, which I thought was absolutely brilliant with Anthony Hopkins, and this, which is uh, probably less so in my opinion. Uh, the chemistry is okay. Um, Tucci and Fur, do they look as though they've been together 20 years? Well, probably at the start, yeah, where they're having a bit of a nag at each other in, in, the, in the RV that they're driving. Uh, and the early signs were quite good. It made me smile a couple of times. I thought it might be quite good, this, as he bickered like an old, obviously an old couple would. I mean, you've been together 20 years. It's, you know, there's always someone driving and someone not driving and looking at maps I mean it's uh, I've been there myself with, you know, obviously with, with my missus but uh, you know it's, it's the same uh, with this with my missus and, and other ladies obviously since my missus but uh, there you go that's uh, so it did look okay but uh, uh, sadly, it sort of be, from there sort of drags and drones on in my in my mind. It didn't really ever, ever get sort of going off. It was not very little humour. Uh, I thought these two guys were quite boring, to be honest with you. I mean, I know they've got obviously problems, but even in in the in the at the times when things were sort of normal, it was just just very bland. There is a lot of love out there for this, but uh, I just think it skirts around the important themes uh, it's supposed to be addressing. I just think it sort of it plays them down a little bit and doesn't quite have an impact when it does when it does sort of unleash the 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 horrible the the you know the, it is a horrible side of dementia etc etc. Of course it is, but it sort of to me it doesn't quite hit hit with any oomph when it does uh, explore the the problems etc. Uh, unlike the father, it covers uh, the early stage of dementia. With with the father, you get to see all the aspects of it. Really, you see the, the you know you see the, the the man actually breaking down from early dementia and obviously progressing to its to its final conclusion. The, you know the the work it can get sort of thing uh, but in this it doesn't really progress that much you know it's there but there's no real progression of the thing even even up to the end of the film it's, it's just it just sort of more or less stays at the same level that it that it, it is from the start um, the scenes that show scenes that show as I said before the scenes that show us torment are not really that effective and the scenes of normality are well just normal and unexciting. I mean, there's nothing, you know, there's no highs and lows. Or I didn't think, I didn't personally feel any highs and lows in this, which is a, what I expected to feel in this sort of film. I mean, even the ending, which is meant to be powerful and emotional. I mean, it's just, 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 just for me, it was a bit, yeah, just a bit weak. It just. just didn't do anything. I mean, as I say, I'm I am in the minority slightly on this one. It's getting at least sixes and sevens in most places, uh, perhaps even higher. Um, plenty of the critics and the public like it, but uh, I have to admit, sadly, sadly, it, may, it may be something I'd go and watch again. Perhaps uh, say with a, a different frame of mind. I'm not too sure, but. Uh, Sadly, I didn't. I didn't really enjoy this film. I mean, obviously, if you if you gave me the option of watching this film five times or the Father five ta next five times, I'd watch the Father. I'd watch that brilliant film. I'd watch it again now, to be honest with you. But uh, this, I just, I just think it didn't. Did just didn't do enough for me. So I'm gonna give it. Uh, yeah, I'm only gonna give it a five out of ten, which isn't great and which is a lot lower than everybody else. So if you wanna watch it, I say it's. Uh, I'd be very, very interested. To let me know what your comments are on it because uh, yeah, there are a few 
few reviews I've read that uh, echo what I say, but uh, as I say, most people seem to have enjoyed it. And obviously, perhaps if you're Colin Firth or Touchy fans, yeah, it might be better. I, mean, I don't dislike the guys. I think they're great. I, I quite like Colin Firth. I quite like Stanley Tucci. But uh, yeah, it just, it just didn't quite work for me. But uh, there you go. I'll give it a five out of ten anyway. And Supernova, as I said, yeah, it's on general release. I don't think it'll be on on at the cinema very long. It's in the UK faces from uh, Friday the twenty fifth of June, twenty twenty one. So there may, there may be previews uh, a couple of days before that as well. So please check that in whatever territory or wherever you are in the UK. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are you going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps have a flit across. Have a look at my Citizen channel, my football channel. I only ask one thing of you. Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.